Intermountain Precision Genomics just released a big thing about a data consortium. Can you tell me a little bit about what that is? Uh, the Genomics Data Sharing Consortium is called OPEN, O-P-N, it stands for Oncology Precision right. Network. And uh, we have partnered with Stanford University and with the Providence Healthcare System, including the Swedish Cancer Institute, uh, and then of course along with Intermountain Healthcare. Uh, those three institutions have come together to share data because I think we all came to the same important conclusion, which is in order to cure cancer, we have got to share data. Right. So the effort really consists of all of these organizations sharing genomics data on cancer patients. And the reason this is important is when I do a genomic analysis on a patient, uh, it, it, it um, individualizes them so significantly that it's almost like I've never seen that exact patient with that exact set of genomic mutations before. So the way to overcome that problem is to aggregate large data sets in a multi-institutional fashion. So while my single institution may generate a single large data set, that alone may not be enough for me to be able to s compare one patient to another. Right. But if I can get the data from my colleagues at Stanford and from my colleagues at Providence and from other institutions across the country, then we can start to say, okay, right. uh, here are 10 patients that are like that or 15 patients that have these same characteristics. Here are the drugs that they got. Here's how they responded. And now my treatment of this individual patient is much more informed. I'm right. much, much smarter. I can deliver them treatment with much more confidence that I know what the outcome will be like. So the Oncology Precision Network uh, is, I believe, the answer to uh, how we both implement precision medicine and aggregate big data to guide our treatment of these individuals. And that's how we're going to cure cancer as we go forward. Working together on a multi-institutional level, frankly, is the only way that we can accomplish this. So it's really a thrill, frankly, to partner with these two well-respected, highly visible organizations in a way that is idealistic and uh, has a single motive, which is to improve the lives of cancer patients. This is a very hot topic that we hear a lot about the data consortium and why we should be sharing data. So why is this significant for Intermountain Precision Genomics? At Intermountain Precision Genomics, we're constantly trying to understand what is driving a patient's cancer and how can we intervene with treatment to improve that situation. If we can understand what type of data and results Stanford is having and Providence is having, then we can be better about treating our patient. It's a very altruistic approach to say, we're going to partner and we're going to share data. That doesn't happen. The history of healthcare is not to share data with other right. healthcare organizations. Historically, healthcare, unfortunately, has been very siloed mm -hmm. a as a rule. Right. Siloed in terms of uh, let's not reveal our costs to others, let's not reveal what our outcomes are like. Um, and so this really breaks the mold. We're, I think this is a very bold move. Is this unique? It's, it's extraordinarily unique. It's an effort by like-minded institutions to say, we are going to share data. We're not worried about uh, these old concerns that have existed in the past with healthcare. We're going to do it in a compliant way. We're going to do it in a private way right. so that we don't risk uh, data breaches and those things. But uh, we recognize that we can't overcome this alone, uh, but we can make progress with like-minded partners. That's what's unique about this, and that's why it's exciting. I, c I, I'm, I couldn't be happier to be part of it.